Although microwave ovens differ in appearance from model to model, they all operate on similar principles. In this video, we will address how a microwave works, as well as potential problems you may encounter. Most microwave ovens allow the user to select from preset cooking times, in addition to other timing and power level options. Once the cooking setting has been chosen and the start button pressed, the control board sends 120 volts of alternating current through the line fuse, the cavity thermostat, and the door switches and on to the primary winding of the high voltage transformer. The transformer's secondary winding, the high voltage capacitor, and the diode produce the voltage needed to power the magnetron. The magnetron emits radio waves which travel through the waveguide before entering the cooking area. Once inside the cooking area, the radio waves cause water molecules within the food to vibrate intensely, generating heat which cooks the food from the outside in. Most microwave ovens have a motorized turntable which rotates the food through the radio waves in order to cook the food evenly. Keep in mind that the heated water molecules will steam the food during the cooking process, which is why bread becomes soggy when heated in a microwave. When operating, the high voltage components generate heat, so the control board also sends voltage to a fan motor to cool the appliance. One or more thermostats prevent overheating by shutting off the voltage to the high voltage system if the cabinet or cavity get too hot. Microwaves installed over a range will act as a vent hood for the stovetop. When using the stovetop, the vent fan on the microwave should be turned on to vent the steam, grease, and food odors to the outside or through filters back into the kitchen. The microwave has grease filters on the bottom of the appliance and a charcoal filter behind the grill if the microwave is intended to recirculate the air. If the fan is not used and the underside of the microwave gets too hot, a thermostat that monitors cabinet temperature will close and turn the vent fan on. Please be aware that the high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens pose a substantial risk for injury or death if you disassemble them to perform repairs. Since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the microwave has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access and replace internal components. A potential problem that can occur is the microwave simply not turning on at all. If this happens, it's likely that the main fuse has blown. The fuse can be tested for continuity to determine if a continuous electrical path is present. Be aware that a blown fuse is often caused by a defective door switch. Each door switch can be tested for continuity as well. If the control panel buttons do not respond correctly, the touchpad may be defective and need to be replaced. Arcing may also occur during operation. This is often caused by a damaged or dirty wave guide cover or a damaged wall near the rack supports. If the oven wall is damaged, microwave interior paint is available for repairs. If the microwave is not heating, the magnetron, transformer, capacitor, or diode may have failed and require replacement. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your microwave. Enter the appliance's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.